In this video, I'm going to show you how high the electromagnetic fields can be in a far-infrared sauna. So you can see the far-infrared panels here. And here are two meters that I use in this situation. The first is a Gauss meter, and this is measuring the magnetic fields in milligauss. You can see that we're at about 11 milligauss, which is really quite extreme. Generally, you don't want to be above about 0.2 milligauss. And then I measure electric fields. And you can see here we're at about 900 volts per meter. And again, this is very extreme. Uh, generally, you want to be below about 5 volts per meter. So let's see what happens when we turn off the sauna. So here you can see that the magnetic fields did drop down to about 0.2 milligauss. The electric fields are still high. Uh, this is probably because the power source coming into the sauna is likely right below the seat. Uh, if that was unplugged, then we'd be down below 5 volts per meter. So this is a typical situation for a far infrared sauna. Unless the sauna is designed to reduce the magnetic and electric fields, anyone who's using these types of saunas is going to be exposing themselves to really high electromagnetic field levels. And it's something that you don't want to do over time.